this is Casey. So we all know that everyone is going through a hard time, right? And for me, looking around, I've seen uh, a lot of people can't afford to go to the gym uh, just because they don't have the money and some people can't afford to hire a trainer and some people who could go to the gym don't feel safe going to the gym. So I have decided to use my platform to provide you know, workout and nutrition resources and content to help these individuals. So if you know anyone that can benefit from this, please let them know. And I look forward to sharing, um, you know, uh, content um, on this YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions, have any questions, please let me know. If you know or have anything that you want me to cover, also let me know. Now, a little bit about my background and how um, I started my own fitness journey and how I got here. You ready? So, um, I was born in Nigeria, I have four siblings, and um, yeah, I left home when I was 20. And um, so I left home, went to Switzerland where I studied hotel management and uh, came to the US so I can do my internship with World Disney World. And after I completed my internship, I fell in love with US. Um, to me, US is, you know, it's more friendly. They speak English. Um, it reminds me of home. So I decided to stay here and complete my degree. I got my degree in business management. And um, in 2011, I got my degree and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna come to New York. Um, so I moved to New York. So now my fitness journey. Um, my fitness journey started back in, um, in 2009. So in 2009, my father uh, was, was really, really sick. And um, I mean, like he had um, ulcer, diabetes, um, a bunch of stuff. And he's he was placed um, on um, you know, medicine, like a lot of it. Anyway, watching him take all the medicines and not getting much better, um, I began to like, you know, do research about what food does what, what movement does what. And from what I researched and from what I learned <laughs> from my research, um, I put together a program and, um, you know, nutrition, you know, program and uh, gave it to my sister because, you know, back then in 2009, if you can connect, I was still in Florida where I was studying for my business degree. And so like my, my sister helped me to like, you know, place my dad on a diet. And of course, like, you know, I spoke, I spoke to him on the phone, FaceTime and all that to make sure that they followed the program. And that was the, about the first time I actually acted like a trainer, <laughs> like a coach, like a fitness coach. And so like, you know, over time, my father's health improved like a lot to a point where, you know, he was off of his medicines for a long time. Um, so that was the first time that that light bulb goes like ding dong like i was like wow like food is actually medicine and movement is actually medicine if we could move and make little adjustments in what we eat we can actually transform our life and our health and to me i was like oh that's really cool and so that was like you know my aha moment right <laughs> and so just watching my father's life and his health improve was such an amazing feeling. And, um, and so because of that, I said, you know what? Yes, I have a business degree, but I can actually do something with, you know, with this if I go into fitness. But I didn't go into fitness until about 2005. 2015 rather I didn't go into fitness until 2015 because uh, back then when I moved here in 2011 you know from Florida to New York uh, my goal was to actually get a job and support my family because um, if you know <laughs> uh, for me like you know I take care of my you know my family I take care of my mom my sister you know financially like financially <laughs> so 
my goal wasn't to go into fitness my goal was to like you know make money so i can support them and then go into fitness but long story short um i worked in a law firm a little bit and then worked for ihop and my father um was the reason why i said you know what i think my purpose in life is bigger than just chasing you know the bag um i need to make this make sense to me and i can tell you that during that time that i was you know working i have gone through some you know personal struggles and setbacks and i could have turned to drugs i could have turned to you know i could have turned into you know i could have turned into anything like you know i don't want to you know be <laughs> to sound a little dark but it was a very dark moment for me and you know to a point where i was depressed i was um, i had anxiety you know i was in a relationship that wasn't healthy and you know it was one of my darkest time of my life and i could have turned you know into into drugs into just like you know anything bad you know <laughs> um and so in 2005 was when i realized i have to channel that to something and the only thing that i knew at the time was fitness and so i remember being depressed and i remember you know like refusing i had the thought of like just 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 you know just end just end it you know like there's nothing here for you just end it and just move on and um the only thing that i can fall back on was you know fitness um and that was when i said i started working out i would go to the gym and i would work out i didn't have much experience and i started like you know working out on my own and i realized every time that i work out i get stronger mentally i get stronger you know emotionally and before i know it the you know all the my whole life goes from being in a dark place to actually being this light and actually being you know ju just going from someone who is dead on the inside to someone who is alive and now i am in a place where i have like so much love and so much light and i will give all that credit to you know to finding fitness for real i will because <laughs> you know and this is one of the reasons why i'm very passionate ab about you know about what i do about fitness because until you have been in a dark place and could have taken your own life could have turned to anything but you find one thing that becomes a healthy medicine for you i don't think you could you can relate <laughs> You know so to me um fitness saved my life to me fitness uh saved my life and fitness saved my life <laughs> and so i am so happy that you know my dad um gave me a reason um that he is the reason why I started because I didn't know I didn't know that that <laughs> that he that this whole thing will be my life <laughs> you know my lifeline um you know my my lifesaver but because now we are like <laughs> oh we are getting emotional so but yeah so that's my uh, that is my fitness journey um fitness saved my life all right <laughs> so we're back um again it's okay to cry i think i've cut this video like five times already but anyway um 2015 was by far one of my darkest time but I think 2016 
could be the worst um, because I lost my father to post rate cancer and um, you know my whole life shattered um, and that was the moment where I know I had to quit my job and um, pursue uh, fitness and um, while it was hard even till today to um, accept the fact that he's gone um, he gave me a reason to do something that is bigger than me um, he gave me a reason to do what I do now and have passion for for people for um, just be the best that I can be and make sure that if I could help someone um, you know change their lifestyle or transform their life um, I would do anything just to make that happen um, <laughs> All my clients knows that um, everyone that know me uh, knows that um, I would do anything for anyone that needs help with you know whether it's just you know getting you know trying to get in shape or have some health issues and would like to transform their lives um, so So yeah, um, he is the reason, my father was the reason why I go into fitness and he is the reason why I don't give up on anyone um, as far as fitness goes. Um, you know, I'll give everything to anyone, you know, who genuinely wants to get healthy and fit. I don't have any, I don't have any time or energy for, you know, boyfriend or boys, <laughs> but when it comes to, when it comes to, you know, just, you know, girls, like, you know, my male clients, f female clients, I don't mind, you know, like I train both male and female anyway, so I don't discriminate, but, you know, yeah, he is the reason why I'm very... I'm passionate about what I do and I will I would do anything for anyone to make sure that no one else dies of post-rate cancer or any sickness or illnesses that could be prevented all right he is the reason why um, in 2017 I got a job um, at Eponus and um, of course like you know I was in a very dark place uh, from money my father to almost being homeless long story short um, I went from you know being a regular you know fitness trainer to becoming um, the top you know 20 trainer in the entire company I became the highest female producer the second highest female producer in the entire company um, you know and I was like you know the top hundred you know throughout my career um, as a fitness coach and so with that said um, you know over time you know working for Eponos and even before I worked for Eponos I was also just you know working out and training like you know independently um, I have um, sacrificed a lot of time and resources to perfect my craft and so it is safe to say that I know my stuff and um, you know I will share you know my fitness journey like I'm talking about the time that I was fat the time that I was skinny the time that I was in between and all that in the next video and maybe like you know I might actually add it in this video and I will show you guys when I was skinny, because the you know the you know the you know the world says if you're not skinny, then you're not healthy, and so yeah, that happened. And uh, I knew a time where I was fat. I knew a time where you know everything that you can think about. You know, I've been there. And, but anyway, I don't want to keep this video <laughs> long, even though it's long. But I just wanted to share my story with you guys, so you will know 
you know, the lady behind the picture that you've seen on the Instagram and also to understand that I am one of you guys, I'm no different. Um, like I said before, um, I moved from Nigeria to here. I've been on my own since then and as you can imagine, it's not easy having to not have any family member um, with you and being a woman and being you know, and being on your own and having to figure things out and having to support your own family financially and all that. So I say all that to say that, you know, that I can relate and I'll be sharing my own personal struggles and more stuff with you guys. And I hope that, you know, this video, you know, answers some of your questions or some of the things that, that I haven't really like, you know, shared. All right, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So let me know what you would like me to cover. The next one that I'll be putting on, the next video I'll be putting on will be, you know, my before and after pictures, when I was big, when I was skinny, and when all that, like everything that you wanna know, I'll be sharing it on this channel. And until the next time, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if I'm long and if I'm saying you know, you know, if I'm saying, uh, you know, mum mumbling too much. <laughs> Bye. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.